demand for today's NT1100 Apple CarPlay in real time. So I'm going to try not to edit it. I'm just going to do it. It might be a bit lumpy bumpy because I've got a hand on this camera. There's a GoPro there. And obviously I've got to work all the buttons as well. So hopefully you get an idea on how easy it is to do it. So first job, you go to this button here and you get yourself into the dash. Then you use the keys here and you go down to settings, press enter. And you go down to Bluetooth, press enter. And set pairing, press enter. Right then, you get your headset of whatever device you have and you turn them on. You then turn them to pairing. There we go. You then go add devices. There's my center. Hopefully you can see it there. Down to center, press enter. So this will take a little while for everybody to connect to each other. There we go, connected. Rider connected. So now we come out. We then get our genuine Apple lead and it goes in that way. Now this is going to be a bit fiddly because, like I said, I've got a camera in one hand and it's a proper rubbery hole to stick it into. There we go. Right. So it now says Apple CarPlay. Press enabled. And that's it. Apple CarPlay connected. Now you think, oh, where's all my apps? Use this button here. And there we go. Oh, no, we're not doing that. Go that way. That's it. So there you go. Easy as that. And it took about a minute and a bit. No problems at all. Don't forget now, if you found this useful, big thumbs up. You never know, you might even want to subscribe. And if you do, that'd be awesome. And then you get notification on our next bit of content. See you soon.